Your your um, career history includes some amazingly high profile positions within the U.S. government. You mentioned a little bit about that, uh, including senior director for cybersecurity policy at the National Security Council, advising two successive presidents on digital technology innovation, geopolitics and risk. And you also led senior level teams to develop and deliver presidential priorities. So um, without violating any NDAs or anything, uh, could you break down what the actual nuts and bolts of those tasks were? Were you conducting independent research? Were you, uh, you know, making specific recommendations? Were you implementing these recommendations? Uh, what, what, what was involved? So the mission of the National Security Council is to coordinate um, national security policy across all the different parts of the government, okay. and then to serve as an advisor for the president. Mm -hmm. And so that 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 was my job, and um, in, in cyber policy, where my mm -hmm. main area of focus um, was on more of the defensive side of cyber policy. Um, so coordinating the defense of U.S. critical infrastructure, so you know banks, yep. healthcare, you know communications and whatnot. Um, and then, um, you know, advising, you know, coordinating policy to some extent on on, on sort of the dark side of cyber, the offensive side, uh, but really focused on on defense. Hmm. Um, I, I like defense. Um, I played football, um, you know, when I was younger and defense was always my favorite, uh, you know, side of the ball. Um, and so what, what, what that means, practically speaking, what, what coordination means, practically speaking, is when, when there's a, when a problem emerges, um, you know, a, um, you know, a Russian hacking campaign against the electric grid, mm -hmm. um, someone needs to bring together uh, all the different parts of the government that have some something to contribute to solving that problem, right? So that could include mm -hmm. law enforcement, could, in, could include the Department of Homeland Security, which has responsibility for, mm -hmm. for critical infrastructure, the Department of Energy, which has a lot of expertise and regulatory authority and energy, uh, as well as the intelligence community and the military. And what what the senior director does is working with 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 colleagues at, at these different departments and agencies is try to develop options for the president. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a whole sort of you know command structure that, that this this process follows. So okay. um, we we would develop options for deputy cabinet ministers that would then go up to uh, you know sort of the the cabinet the heads of departments, so the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, and then on to the President. Um, and and, 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 that, and that's the way the system works. Um, so uh, in some sense, my, my job was herding cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So you were, yeah, yeah, I was going to say it was, it, it's a lot of um, g getting the sort of tops of each organization to all sort of get into one room together, literally or figuratively, and come to an agreement. And then it sounds like you were kind of so you had like a, a set of like, OK, we could do plan A, plan B, plan C kind of thing for the president. And then they That's sign right. off on it kind of thing. Um, so, That's right. And, and yeah. yeah. And then we would also we would also make sure that that there was follow through. Right. That, yeah. Uh, that the president's vision is then actually implemented. Things were policy. actually happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I, no matter how high the, um, the the you know, the the job title is or the the, the responsibilities are, I'm always dying to sort of break it into sort of individual skill sets and tasks. So like what areas of your skill set got the biggest workout when you were doing this type of work? Like what was, what were the parts that really you felt yourself stretching to sort of make this all work? Uh, management and, mm -hmm. um, you know, building leadership, right. Building coalitions, um, mm -hmm. trying to identify points of consensus that you could build on when, when there's broader disagreement and, um, you know, in my experience, most cybersecurity problems, whether they're at sort of that level of of, of national policy um, or at, at the level of an enterprise, often involve – almost always involve humans in some form or another, right? Sure, like sure. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're human problems, not necessarily just straight – just technical problems. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, ha having sort of human skills, knowing how to deal with people, knowing how to communicate effectively, all of those skills were were, were key to um, performance in that in that role. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, okay, that that that's great. Um, do you do you feel like, for instance, your your law background, like in terms of like crafting like the arguments, or do you feel like you it was it was okay? You you knew what you needed to get done. It was just a matter of getting people to sort of agree with you. Um, I I am a big fan of of law school. <laughs> yeah. Even if even if um, you know, uh, graduates don't necessarily practice law because I, th I think it's great training, especially for policy um, mm -hmm. uh, roles where, um, you know, you're you're having to make arguments, uh, adjudicate arguments, all in a, in a legal context, right? You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, we we want to do what's legal, not what's what's not legal. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, ha having you know, having sort of that that muscle memory. 
um, and sort of, you know, in, in place is uh, I've always found to be really valuable. Um, yeah. Obviously, law school is not for everybody, but for me, it, it, it really kind of hit the mark in terms of my my professional development. Yeah. And 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 clearly um, starting somewhere that's not heavy tech is not uh, necessarily a barrier to entry into heavy tech, you know, roles that's later right. on in life. Because, uh, again, we that's have right. a lot of people who are taking their first, you know, either bold or trepidatious step into cybersecurity from other uh, career points. And so including law, obviously. So uh, yeah, always, always good to hear those types of um, uh, anecdotes and, and, and experiences and so forth. So well, just, just to pick up on your point, um, yeah. you know, I mean, there are, there are certain job functions in cyber policy uh, mm-hmm. that are technical, mm-hmm. um, right. Uh, and you need technical skills in order to fill those jobs, but there are an awful lot of positions that aren't, they may have a technical dimension, but they're not strictly speaking technical technical jobs. And so, you're coming back to my example of of Russia and the electric grid um, as an example or hypothetical. Um, that's a Russia problem as much as it is a cyber problem. And so, yes. you know, the, the skills that that you know that must be brought to bear on a problem like that include understanding how Vladimir Putin thinks, or at least trying to understand how he thinks, mm-hmm. understanding uh, their vulnerabilities, uh, not just yep. in the cyber sense of the word, but, you know, politically and economically. Yeah. Um, and um, having a sense of, you know, what, 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 what would, what would we need to do to shape their behavior? That, that, that's a, that's a, that's a Russia problem, not necessarily or not yeah. strictly a cyber problem. Have you seen work bites, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.